Sarah, what are we doing? Hiding. Hiding from who? Dragon hunters. Sarah, we're not dragons, so why would they want to hunt us? Oh, right. Well, still, the dragon hunters are seriously bad dudes. So far, they've matched Jacob and the others battle for battle. If they can take on the dragon riders... Then what chance do we have? Today on Megafan Race to the Edge, we're braving into the darkness to profile the various villains and see how they might be connected. Make sure to bring a weapon. Riders have faced a fair share of enemies in the past, like Alvin the Treacherous. But after a few years of plotting revenge inside Outcast Prison, even a guy as deranged as Dagger has gotten way more dangerous. Check out that hit list tattooed on Dagger's arm. Hiccup and Toothless are at the very top! And is that Dagger's own dad? Oswald the Agreeable already crossed off? Still, you gotta hand it to Dagger for being so organized. Crazy, but organized. Um, what's on your list? Oh, groceries. I need to pick up some milk and eggs. What's on yours? Oh, my next line. Let us now study the dragon eye for more criminal clues. Roll clip. After obtaining the dragon eye from the reaper and unlocking it with a snow wraith tooth, Hiccup and Toothless discover a whole slew of mysterious new dragons and symbols. Keep an eye on that hand-shaped one. It reappears a lot throughout the show. Speaking of the Reaper, this ancient vessel must have been a part of the Dragon Hunter's fleet because it features the same dragon fireproof cages. And it's in the same ship graveyard where Hiccup built a new tail flap for Toothless out of old tattered sails. Look on this sail tail. Is that the same hand symbol again? Or is that a fist? Hmm. The Dragon Hunters definitely have a way with traps. Some are easy to spot. <gasps> Buy on and yak butter pie! Others, not so much. A little help? I think I need an ice pack and some more pie. The dragon hunters have developed a system of weapons that not only capture dragons, but also use the dragon's abilities against them. From croaking the Grunkle Iron Formula, to tipping their spears and ballistas with natter spines, to launching heat insulated nets and bolos at airborne attackers, Riker and his crew turn even the most powerful predators into prey. But the hunter's deadliest trap is one that Hiccup and the others don't even see coming. Right. Although they didn't realize it at the time, the Dragon Riders and their undercover ally, Heather, were being manipulated all along by one man, Vigo Grimborn, Riker's brother and the true leader of the Dragon Hunters. In a lot of ways, Vigo is almost like a mirror image of Hiccup. Both are intelligent leaders. But while Hiccup uses his smarts to help dragons, Vigo uses his to weaponize them. And there's that fist again. I can't believe Vigo tricked Hiccup into handing over the dragon eye. <laughs> you can't blame Hiccup. Nobody could have seen that coming. Not even Stoic. In the game of Maces and Talons, the Grimborn brothers were always several steps ahead. I do truly hope we are able to compete again. What a cliffhanger. We have to ask the Race to the Edge team what's going to happen next. The suspense is killing me. Dragon mail them. OK. Hey, backstabbers. Darius. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a little mean? Dear backstabbers. Much better. How could you let Vigo have the upper hand? And the dragon eye. Please tell me the dragon riders haven't failed for good. Ooh, and add PS. Are we going to see any new villains in the next episodes? It seems like the dragon hunters are part of some evil larger empire. Hey, I just realized something. Every time you see the fist symbol painted on the ships, it's painted red. Like fire or lava or... Blood? Blood fist? <gasps> Blood fist! Oh no, do you think Vigo and Riker are somehow connected to Drago Bloodvist? I don't know, but it kind of makes sense. Drago was a madman who raved about building a dragon army for years. And he was able to pull it off too with his high-tech dragon traps. Drago's war machines are definitely more sophisticated than the Grimborns. They've even been designed to look like the dragons they ambush. 
Yeah, but Dragon's Warship, the Conqueror, sure shares some similarities with the Reaper. And look at how strong yet lightweight Drago's prosthetic arm seems. It could be made from three parts limestone, two parts sandstone, one part iron ore, and one giant spoonful of cooled and hardened Gronkle lava. AKA Gronkle iron. Ah! Oh, relax, it's just the D-mail. I'll relax when Dagger, Vigo, and Riker are the ones behind bars. <sighs> hey, Sarah and Darius. <laughs> what do you think of our evil laugh? Yes, things sure do look grim for the Dragon Riders. And yes, Hiccup lost the battle, but not the war. You're right about the Dragon Hunters having ties to a larger nefarious network. But if we told you anymore now, that would be cheating. <sighs> okay. For now, just know that the future will see tides turn and allegiances shift. Enemies will become allies and friends will turn into traitors. So keep watching the skies and keep looking over your shoulders. Sincerely, the backstabbers. <laughs> it sounds like we're gonna need all the help we can get. What do you think, Mega fans? Are the Dragon Hunters connected to Drago? If so, how? And who do you think is gonna switch sides in the next seasons? Post your best conspiracy theories in the comments below. Then study up on the Grimborn brothers and try to decode the hidden hunter symbols in Nine of the Hunters, parts one and two, and Masons and Talents, parts one and two. Follow the links to those and other exciting episodes below. And make sure to subscribe to Dreamers TV for all the hidden hints, clues, and connections here on Mega Fan Race to the Edge. Parts one and two? Just kidding. What do you say? Time to go back into hiding? Of course. <laughs>